Dr. Ian. Special things for this type of legalization of ritual for so your new is much superior compared to the commonly prescribed drug. If it is within this one, the FTR region. So okay, in this video we'll be continuing our discussion on vector analysis. So we'll be going to um, circular cylindrical coordinate system. Okay, so let's just complete here the name of our topic. So circular cylindrical coordinate system. So we have finished discussing about a rectangular coordinate system. So this is another way of representing our um, vector. So the three-dimensional vector using this uh, circular cylindrical system. So if we are going to write our x and y z plane, okay. So we have here our x, we have here our y, and this is our z. So assuming we have a point here, okay, a point here P. Okay. We're going to project our P over here. Okay, so this we just project our P. So we have here a line, projection line. If we will have here also a line creating another parallel line over here so this line these two lines here we can call this one as row then the angle of this line the row with respect to the x-axis we call this one as phi then we have also here the length of this one which is also the z we are going to project another row here okay, another equivalent length of row okay same here which is also another z okay also over here we could project another row so this three here is equivalent they are only they are equal to each other so we could project here over here, I believe. This is also Z. So as you notice, we have created a part of a cylinder, okay, on which the base will be a circular. Okay, so th that's why it is called the circular cylindrical system. Okay, so if you are going to compare the rectangular and the circular. circular cylindrical coordinate system so the coordinate for our rectangular is the x the y and the z okay now for our for our um, circular cylindrical system so we have the coordinates the row okay we have also phi and Z. So as you notice, the only axis that is not changed is the Z because the Z is the um, vertical distance, no? vertical distance from the origin, this one. So we have changed our representation of X and Y. So we, we um, changed that to the distance of our point with respect to the Z axis, which is rho, and the distance of our row with respect to the x-axis which is the phi so if you are going to get the relationship of this angle with respect to y so we could say that this one here 
so that will be 90 minus phi because of course we know that the angle between each of the axes is 90 degrees okay then we have also the unit vectors for um, rectangular and cylindrical system okay so for rectangular we have the i hat okay we could call it as i hat we have also the g hat and the k hat so meaning these are the um unit vectors so when we say unit vectors it so it is a vector um, on the direction of our axis which has a um which has an absolute value or a or a equivalent uh, distance of one okay that is a unit vector this is for rectangular for cylindrical so we have the rho hat the phi hat and the k hat of course as you need you notice the unit vector k hat is not changed because the coordinate of z also is not changed okay so now we will have the equivalency of um, the x the y and the z values with respect to the coordinates of the c circular cylindrical system okay so for example we have here our x okay so x so if we are going to solve for x we are going to um, solve for x given the circular cylindrical system so x is equals to rho cosine phi okay. cosine phi so because this is our x if you are going to create a triangle here so we're going to create a straight line here so this will serve as our hypotenuse because this is the uh, longest distance so we have here our um, adjacent side and our uh, our row is the um, sorry the our row is the hypotenuse so this is our um, opposite side and this will be our adjacent side so solving for x this one here given these conditions so this is our rho so we could say that x is equals to rho cosine theta now for y so y is equals to rho sine phi so because it is on the opposite side so we could project maybe we could project here our um, this one or maybe we could project our angle so if this is rho minus phi so this is our hypotenuse the y so this is our phi here so we could say that that is the opposite of our um, y so that that's why we will be using sine theta and z is always equal to z because we have not changed the um, value of the z axis so therefore the z coordinate is equal also to the z coordinate of the circular cylindrical system okay now we go to the that product uh, that product of unit vectors in cylindrical and rectangular systems okay okay so this is also another way of um, converting the given rectangular system into um, uh, cylindrical system so for example we have here our unit vectors for the rectangular so we have here i hat j hat and k hat okay so we just also be writing here our um in vector for the circular cylindrical coordinate system so we have rho hat phi hat and z you know k hat okay so if we are going to get the dot product so the dot product of our i hat to respect to p hat so that will be cosine phi okay now for the dot product of i 
to the phi hat so this will be negative sine phi of course there is a derivation of this one but it will take I will make the video longer so I just be creating the table for the summary of the other dot product so the dot product of i and k so as we have discussed on the getting the product of rectangular coordinate system of the unit vectors so if they are not the same unit vectors so this will be equal to zero then for the g hat and the rho hat so this will be sine phi then for the phi hat and the g hat so this will be cosine phi positive then this for the g hat and the k hat so that will be zero okay for the k and the rho hat so this will be zero k and the phi hat this will be zero and k hat that k hat is equal to one so this will be the that product of the unique vectors in cylindrical and rectangular system so we'll be using this one on our first example for this topic so we have this one so we'll just be writing here our solution okay so of course to, in order to transform this one this is in a rectangular coordinate system so we need to have our um, our coordinate or our scalar quantity for um, the phi and also the rho okay so we need to get this one so in order to get this one so we just take the rectangular coordinate system and have this one that product with the unit vector um, re representing the scalar quantities of course we have here our bz which is equal to as the given z k hat so it is already given from this equation okay so we have b this one b phi is equal to um, vector b dot phi hat okay so we just substitute so we have y i hat minus x g hat plus z k hat so that is that product everything with um this one the um, phi hat so we have i dot phi hat so if we're going to go back to our previous slide so i dot phi hat so that will be sine negative sine so we have negative we just copy the y sine phi then we have g dot phi hat so g dot phi hat so that will be cosine so we have here x um, cosine phi okay then for k dot phi hat so k dot phi hat so that will be zero k dot phi hat is equal to zero Okay, now we will just be converting our y 
and our x equivalent to their um, um, uh, to rho and the angle phi so we know from also the previous slide this one we know that x is equals to rho cosine theta and y equals to rho sine theta so we just substitute this one is, is equal to rho sine theta uh, time sine phi not theta and sine phi for this one minus rho cosine theta cosine theta plus zero so we will end up with negative rho sine squared theta minus rho cosine so this is not theta but phi cosine phi so this one is not theta so this is phi okay plus zero so using regular metric identities so we just factor out our negative so this will be negative one I believe we just continue here okay so we have negative one so we have sine squared phi plus cosine squared phi so we have our value equal to negative one okay so of course we have also the still value of this one row this is row negative one so our value will just be equal to negative negative rho okay then we'll be solving for b sub rho okay so b sub rho so this is scalar quantity for unit vector rho so that is equal to vector b dot rho hat so we have this y so y i hat minus x j hat plus maybe this plus z k hat so z k hat dot rho hat okay so i dot uh, rho i believe that is y cosine that a phi we just check that one so i that so that is cosine so minus for x uh, for j dot rho hat so j dot rho hat that will be also cosine phi so that is x cosine phi okay so i a j dot rho hat Let's check it first ah, so it is not one but sine okay so sorry for that mistake so this is equal to let's just erase this one so this is equal to uh, sine phi okay and this is equal to zero okay so why that is y is equals to y uh, rho sine phi cosine phi and x is equals to rho cosine theta cosine phi so rho cosine phi sine phi plus zero so these are just equivalent identical terms to be subtracted by each other so this is equal to zero so our v sub rho is equal to zero now to get the vector b in the cylindrical coordinate system so we just have b rho rho hat plus b phi phi hat plus b z k hat so our uh, b sub rho zero so it is rho hat our b sub phi so that is negative rho so we have 
negative rho rho hat our bz is equals to z so this z k hat so simplifying we will have negative rho phi hat plus z k hat and this is now our equivalent vector in cylindrical coordinate system for the given vector which is in rectangular coordinate system okay so we'll have another example on the next video so i hope you understand something about circular cylindrical coordinate system thank you for watching and as always enjoy learning